why loner truckers win, why the loner mind state is more effective. This is the opinion of Trucker Brown. I was not always a loner. I was, um, I had a lot of people around me. I had a lot of people calling me at all times. And you thought that just came with people liking you. You're a likable person. The reason why being a loner to me helps helps you succeed in what it is you're trying to do. Because you can't be all the way alone. Don't get this out of context. Having a team works. But like I say before, every friend is not a teammate. They're just a person on the sideline lobbing ideas at you. They're not, they're not actually a teammate. So you, A, you have to be able to discern who's a teammate and who's an acquaintance and who's an actual friend. Like, I'm a reach in my pocket behind you type of friend. Not somebody who just, they got make funny jokes, y'all like talking on the phone sometimes. I don't mean to be a friend. While being a loner helps, it's uh, for something you need to think about, which is signal purity. Okay? A pure direction. I'm not going to say you cannot have, but I will say it is harder to keep signal purity with a lot of influence, because that's what the people all around you are. They influence you. You can have so many people around you that you don't know what direction you want to go in, because you're trying. people are trying to influence you from so many different directions. want signal purity. Loners win. Loners have their own agenda and when they wake up, they keep to that agenda. Period. They don't veer from it. They don't waste time doing other things that other people came up with when they could be focusing on their agenda. None of that. And trucking, that's that. Listen, you need that. Because you said to yourself, you're going to come in the game, you're going to save up ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, and you're going to get yourself a truck. Okay. I am not here to tell you that is a good or a bad idea. I'm telling you that's what you said you wanted to do. You come in the game, you get the truck, you go to trucking school, you may pick up two, three friends that you call from trucking school, plus a trainer. That's four. Plus people you hung out with that first year at the terminal. That's five, six, seven. Then the groups you got into on social media. That's eight, nine, 10, 11. Plus all the followers you got on your social media. That's another thousand. And all of these people are, are influencing you. They're influencing you with the comments under your post. They're influencing you by wanting to talk to you. They're influencing you by the people that's calling you that you met through trucking school in your first year. Now your idea went from saving 10 grand to get a truck to this company ain't paying you enough to do that. I gotta hop this company to that company, to that company, to that company, to that company. Because you can, oh, because a friend who left the company before you says, hey man, over here we're making way more money and over here you don't gotta come up with that much money to get this truck from here and do that. And really the new wave is do that. Now you forgot the original agenda, which was yours. Now your agenda, it's yours, but it's been influenced by the people that are around you now, because you're no longer alone. Now you're seeing what other people consider to be success, so now it's influencing you that maybe I want that. Maybe I don't just want one truck and, and run out of the port and 
make $100,000. Maybe I want a fleet now. Or maybe you wanted a fleet before, and now people don't talk to you to fleet is stupid to go for, so now you just want a truck, one truck. You don't want a fleet no more. Or now, you didn't even think about it, authority, but now you want one now. Influence. If you were a loner, you'd have stuck to your plan. Not only would you have been in less drama, you wouldn't have indulged in less crap. You had less people talking about you. And if they were talking about you, you wouldn't know. Because you don't talk to them. You don't talk, watch them, nothing. They, they, it's like they don't even exist. The only way they can exist is if you hop out of that loner, that ostracized position, and you went and subjected yourself to that content are subjected yourself to that conversation. You have to do that. It's your choice. You're not forced to talk to none of these people. That's why I tell you the loners win. They're on the same, and now you're three years into the game. That loner executed his agenda. You've been on seven different agendas. Only one of them was yours. Some of them people told you to do that for the referral that they were going to get at this new company. Some of them told you to go to certain places just because they like to hear themselves talk and they want to act like they know. So it's still some type of self-benefiting thing. It helps their ego. Some of them come on here and they have a mission statement of they just want to help. They're not selfish. They're not doing it for self-preservation. They're doing it because they only want to help drivers. So you get wooed to sleep and you feel like, okay, that's this dude's mission statement. Who's not influenced by that? When you could have been a loner and been influenced by what you want. If I say that success is being a rapper and having a couple million dollars and six baby mamas, I would be unhappy right now. I don't got six baby mamas. I'm not a rapper. And I don't have a couple million dollars. Neither does the rappers, but still. I had to detach myself to figure out what do I want. I wouldn't have had to detach myself from that if I never engaged in the first place. I just I, I never had to deal with it. And one of the ways that you engage is, you know, get to the point where you're just hanging out with these people. And if I want to be influenced somebody, I want to be influenced by somebody who, who, where I have discerned that their influence is beneficial to me, not just by chance. Like you were in my group at trucking school. It's the same thing with family. Family influences you. You don't get to pick family. So their influences are, are completely by chance. Completely. You were born into that family and whoever's around you influence you. You could have an alcoholic, a crackhead, and a rapist around you. None of them like to the work. And those were your influences. And it will have some either direct or non-direct effect on your ascent to prosperity. Prosperity. You know, when they, when they search for why someone is doing what they're doing or they want to study a criminal, the first thing they do is look at their family. Because those are the people that they didn't have a choice to be influenced by. That's why. They go to the family. What was his mom like? What was his dad like? How many people in his family got a criminal record? They pull it up. Oh, well, this is Sean Brown. His two other brothers are in prison. His mom was a uh, crack whore. His, his, uh, uh, his dad was, was pimping out his mom. There's no, there's no, no wonder he's a criminal. That's how they do it. 
Now the people you choose to be around you is your quote unquote surrogate family. So if you influence yourself instead of what you want, you start influencing yourself with all these other people and you're not picking them correctly, you're gonna go that way. That's why I say loners win. Loners win. You know, because they tell me, I don't like how I move now. First of all, you don't like how I move. Let's see, there goes influence. So I'm supposed to be influenced on the way, on the way you want me to move? I don't like your mind. That's you, that's you trying to push. You're trying to push your agenda or your ideology onto me. I'm not your woman. I don't care how you feel. I'm not your woman. I don't, I don't care. Don't play with me. Play with your chick. And as, as I firmly, further, I guess as it was used in this video, ostracize myself or the further I push myself into to being a recluse, which is an actual condition, the further I ascend into it, the more focused I seem to get. And a person like me who thrives on being focused, I like it. So I push myself further into it. And what they get out of it is, oh, we're not good enough to talk to him. That's not what I'm saying. 